Hello, I'm Dr. Caroline Oban, and I'm a veterinarian. My practice is called the Cat Doctor, and this is Wilma. Wilma and her sister Betty are just about ready to be spayed. It's extremely important to get your pet spayed and neutered for many reasons. Just one little kitten like this is a little female kitten. If she were not spayed, um, she could have almost a hundred thousand kittens by the time you count her and all of her children, and all of her children's children, and etc. So it's very, very important to get them spayed and neutered when they're young so that they can't have um, kittens and puppies for dogs so that we don't have unwanted pets out there, and unwanted animals that don't have homes. Uh, in addition to population control, it's very important to have them spayed and neutered, especially when they're young, because it will be much healthier for them over the course of their lives. If they're spayed and neutered when they're young, they have much less chance of getting cancers when they get older. So that's very important for them. It's actually much happier for the pets because once they're spayed and neutered, they don't have all those hormones running through their system, driving them crazy, making them want to run out and make more babies. Um, it makes them much calmer and makes the owners much calmer too. It's very hard to live with a cat that's in heat. Um, and male cats, if they're not neutered, they have spray. Um, they spray urine and to mark their territory and may be more likely to go roaming and fighting other males. And then they get, um, they're more likely to get other diseases from fighting, things like FIV, feline AIDS, um, leukemia. So getting them spayed and neutered keeps them happy, keeps you happy, and keeps our population under control. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. Houston has some pretty bad numbers that everybody needs to really take into account. Houston's euthanasia rate, when you look at it per capita, is actually 65% more than the national average, and that's atrocious. We're actually euthanizing approximately 100,000 animals a year here in our local shelters. So we can contribute a lot of that to the climate because we do have 365 day a year kitten and puppy season. If you look at all the shelters combined in Houston, approximately 85% of the animals entering into our shelters are getting euthanized. So if you've turned in a litter, 85% of those animals more than likely were euthanized, if not the entire litter. Our solution is to get them all spayed and neutered Houston. You guys have the power to change things and you need to get into our clinic and let's get those bunnies, puppies, and kitty cats fixed. One of our big promotions is trap, neuter, return. Trap, neuter, return is the practice of trapping stray kitty cats, having them fixed, and then returning them where they're at as long as they're in a safe environment, meaning they're being fed and cared for. Feral cats have a huge need in the community. Um, I have worked many apartment complexes where they've removed the feral cats, and one of two things happens, or actually usually two of two things happen. Um, usually more cats will move back in, and the other thing is they usually come up with a giant rodent and snake problem in the community. Cats hang out in places like that, and especially feral cats, you have to remember feral cats are wildlife. Um, most people try to think of feral cats as a pussy cat that's, you know, inside just like your kitty cat. Um, but feral kitties aren't like that. They're actually a part of our wildlife. And if you think about them as wildlife, um, that's, that's more along the lines of what you'd be dealing with. So. 
You know, they have a place in nature, but you don't want to have a lot of um, kittens ending up in the shelters. So the best thing for feral kitties is to go ahead and trap them, get them spayed or neutered, and then return them back to where they belong. Um, there's a short recovery time. One of the best websites I've seen, um, if you are interested more in getting involved in trap, neuter, return, is the Feral Cat Coalition. There's awesome information on that website, and it's feralcat.com, and that one's an easy one to remember. We service Montgomery and Harris County, and um, our goal with the Spay Neuter Clinic is to end the overpopulation problem for the city of Houston. Water's okay, Amber. Um, Good boy. Yes, Keep that. I would like to invite everyone in to have their cats, dogs, and bunny rabbits uh, health checked, spayed, neutered, whatever you need. We are here for you and take advantage of this awesome community organization that we put here for your pets. You can make a difference. You can help stop the overpopulation problem in Houston by just basic health care for your animal. Hi, I'm Dr. Rajan. I'm a veterinarian. We perform high volume space and neuters. We are doing a wonderful job of neutering feral cats and also the dogs and cats owned by people. The service we do for the feral cats are most impressive because we know that Houston has a huge population of feral cats. We, we make a great impact on Houston's pet population by avoiding unwanted puppies and kittens which are not being adopted and run over by cars as you know. So. The main objective of this program is to bring the animal population under control and prevent unnecessary euthanasia of healthy animals. Hi, I'm Bernadine Will Turner, a 67 year old senior, and I've, I grew up with dogs all my life and I love pets. And I have a problem with seeing animals in the streets, homeless, no food or their owners mistreating them. So my contribution to the animals is to carry food around in my car and stop wherever I see them and feed them. What can you do to help the homeless animals? Think about it.